Let me say straight off that my experience with face blindness is not the same as most other people's. A lot of people with face blindness cannot retain a memory of the image they saw so they cannot recognize it the next time they see it. In an extreme case, imagine looking at your own face in the mirror, and a few moments later being unable to describe anything you saw. Other people describe what they see as a blur. I see way too many details when I look at a face. Lots of variants of face blindness should not be surprising. Acquired prosopagnosia is believed to be caused by brain damage. If my brain was straight from the factory, you might expect it to behave like everyone else's. But if it has been damaged, you would not expect the damage of my brain to be identical to the damage to anyone else's. This is the third version of the simulator. Links to all three simulators are still available in the comments below. For me, in the first simulator, the person on the left was indistinguishable from the person on the right. But unfortunately, seeing what I see is not the same as experiencing what I experience. People watching the first simulator just saw it as a blur. In this one you see the features more pronounced and distorted, but people who can see faces now say that it is clearer that they are seeing details. The difference is that, in this simulation, you are seeing the whole eye magnified and distorted. What I see is each individual fleck in the person's iris magnified and distorted. The amount of information I am processing when I look at a face is often overwhelming. Eye contact is often a challenge for me. I spent a summer learning how to draw faces, so I know where your eyes are supposed to be, and I look there, but it is hard to not get distracted by the overwhelming number of details that I can never seem to filter out, and I can never seem to put the image together as a face. For me it often feels like I am looking at a Pontiest painting way too closely. If you look at a Pontiest painting too closely, all you see are dots. But if you step back, you can put the dots together into a cohesive picture. That is how I feel about the details I see on people's faces. If I could find a way to metaphorically step back and see the face as a whole, I would see like everyone else. Unfortunately, I see every point and every detail, but I cannot see a face. For me this effect only happens when I look at faces, or occasionally when I look at a tree with lots of leaves and something triggers my brain into thinking it is a face. Other than that I see like everyone else. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions, and be sure to check out the simulator. Thanks for watching.